Celestial is seen at the beginning of the film, and they are also known as sky aliens. Its name was Arisham, who made sun and then moon. The light started from there and our earth grew. Meanwhile, some strange deviants appear from the deep space. They are also called weird creatures. They feed themselves while eating humans and animals while coming to the earth. A scene 7,000 years ago is shown in this movie. Some accident people are shown catching fish. That strange creature attacks them while appearing from the water. The deviants hunt humans. It moves towards the kid after eating the man. An eternal moves to the earth. Arisham has sent him to the earth. So he will save people from those deviants. Akaris was O oh powerful eternal. He can end those creatures while emitting laser light from his eyes. He can even fly on the air. Akaris ends a creature meanwhile many creatures appear there. The eternal arrive at earth. They end those strange creatures. The humans were scared of seeing those eternal there. Then an eternal control the human minds named during. He has the ability to control humans' minds and can manage them as he wants. Eternals start the initiative to be human friends. Later, they started living with humans on the earth. Eternals were living with humans were helping them to improve their technology. They used to fight a lot with each other. Druig often stops them to fight while controlling their mind. The leader of Eternals forbids him from doing this. Because the Celestial's leader has sent him to save humans and increase their population. And forbidden him to participate in any other thing except for this. Druig doesn't obey her and Ajax says while hearing Druig now you are free. She says you can go wherever you want to go. You can spend life as you want. They left the city and then the scene of the present is shown. Eternals were living in this world for 7,000 years. Still, their age was the same. An eternal Sir C is shown who teaches kids in the school. Her friend was controlling the kids because she was late. Meanwhile, Cersei arrives and thanks her friend for managing the kids for so long. As Sarsi's friend leaves there were earthquake. Meanwhile, a statue was about to fall on Cersei's student. Cersei changed the statue into the sand with her powers. Sarsi has the ability to change metal things into the sand. At night, Cersei moves to a club with her friend. Another Eternal named Sprite is shown and he has the ability to take anyone's get-up easily. But whoever touches Sprite's body the light appears from his body. Due to it, Sprite was single for the past 7,000 years. Cersei was celebrating her friend's birthday in the club. Cersei's friend knows something about her. Like Cersei is aged and a magician. They were moving while talking meanwhile, a creature appears and attacks Cersei's friend. Meanwhile, Cersei makes the feet of the creature frozen through her powers. Cersei's friend asks her to tell me what is it. Cersei tells him are the creatures but her friend says they were ended many years ago. How did it survive? The creature runs from there while releasing itself from the sand. Cersei and Sprite chase that creature. Cersei's friend also tries to jump like Cersei. But he couldn't and Cersei tried to distract that creature. The creature doesn't distract and attacks Sprite. Karis arrives and makes the creature injured. They notice the creature has the ability to heal. Only a Jack who is the leader of Eternals has those powers. A Karis again attacks the creature but it flees. It is discovered a Karis married Cersei 5000 years ago. Then he left Cersei 2000 years ago. Cersei to her friend now I have to go because some people need me. Her friend says if you were a superhero then where were you want there were problems on earth. Cersei says we are sending on earth just to end the creatures. We were not allowed to do anything else. Except for increasing population and increase the technology of people. They go to meet a jack so they will tell their leader the creatures have arrived again. This time they are so powerful. They reach a jack and discover a jack has died. This happened on the earth for the first time that an eternal died. 
They understand that a jack is ended by that creature who attacked them before. The creature has taken a jack's powers while ending her. A powerful stone appears from a jack's neck. The stone goes inside Cersei's body. A jack has chosen Cersei the leader of Eternals after death. Cersei can talk to Arisham and they collect the Eternals. So they can end the creatures which getting together and they go to Kingo. Kingo has the ability to take out the small fire bullets from his fingers. Kinto has become a superstar and they ask Kingo to move with Tham but he says I have to do lot of work. I have signed a lot of movies. Kingo because sad hearing that their leader is dead. Then he gets ready to go as his manager said. They go to Australia through Kingo's private plane. Their two other Eternals live there. Reaching there, they find a huge creature died there. Kingo's manager says these creatures were used to be so pretty. Are you insane, according to Kingo? Which angle makes this stench and rotten creature appear attractive? They meet another member named Gilgamesh. He asks them to try his cake. They tell him the news of Ajax's death and he becomes depressed. The cake also falls from his hand. Later, they move to another member named Thena. She was making drawings while sitting under a tree. There gets fits and whenever it happens she attacks anyone. Gilgamesh was living with Thena for the past 7,000 years. Thena has the ability to attack while taking out a powerful weapon from her hands. Thena was attacking them and Sprite changes the atmosphere there. She tries to make her remember who are they and what is their purpose. Gilgamesh makes Thena undaunted and she becomes normal. Later, they have dinner. Circe moves to the place where Thena was making drawings. She sees her drawing and tries to contact her leader then the soul reaches her leader. She tells her leader that the creatures have arrived again on the earth. They even have stolen a jack's powers while ending her. Many weird things are happening on earth. Arisham their leader tells her this is the mark of an emergence. Circe asks him what is emergence. He says now this is the time to tell you about your real purpose. Actually, you were sent to the earth to end the creatures. I have planted a seed on the earth many thousand years ago. The seed needs million years and the energy of humans to grow. But I have made a mistake while making humans and animals. Those strange deviants were born by my mistake. They were decreasing the people's population while eating them. Then I made you and Eternals like you. So I will be able to end those deviants creatures though you. Sir C asks him did a jack know this? He tells you and a jack have often helped Celestial to be born on Earth. Sir C says why don't I remember all this? He says I erase you memories every time that's why you don't remember anything. It also discovers that the dreams of Thena were her old memories. They weren't erased completely. Sir C comes back and tells to her other team members. Hearing this, they get shocked. Sir C says we have to save humans and stop this emergence to happen. Otherwise, because of it, the humans will be ended. Akaris says we have to go in search of others and we will decide what we have to do when we will be together. They go to Amazon forests where Drugi lives. They tell Druig everything but he wasn't ready to go with them. Many creatures attacks them and Kingo fires though his ability. Sprite tries to save Kingo's manager. Akaris competes with a creature. The creature throws Akaris down and tries to take his powers but Gilgamesh arrives. He punches and has the ability to use his hands as a strong hammer. A creature tries to attack Circe and she changes it into a tray. On the other hand, the creatures attack Thena but Gilgamesh saves her. But the creature's leader transfers Gilgamesh's powers while ending him. As it transfers Gilgamesh's powers it takes the human body shape. It also understands the emergence. Gilgamesh dies and says while leaving do remember me. Circe and Akaris move to another member Fastos. Fastos says I love with my family and can't go with you. Then he agrees and gets ready to go with them. 
The Eternal Moor to Iraq and their spaceship was inside the Earth for the past 7,000 years. As they move inside the spaceship Macquarie was already there. Macquarie was their member who can't speak but can run faster than electricity. Fastos makes a technology the Eternals can stop the emergence while using their powers. He says if the creatures can use our powers we can also use our powers together. Fastos was an intelligent engineer. He has helped to increase human technology. The stone locket worn by Circe starts shining. Circe realizes that the emergence is about to happen. Fastos asks Macquarie to go and discover where this emergence will happen. Macquarie discovers the emergence while moving around the Earth that where is it? Acarus breaks the technology machine of Fastos. It is discovered that Acarus has ended Ajak. Ajak also wants to stop this emergence. She also likes humans. That is why Acarus has ended Ajak. When Ajak told Acarus the emergence is about to happen and we have to tell this to Eternals. But Acarus has thrown Ajak in front of those creatures. The creatures have taken Ajak's powers while ending her. Akaris again leaves Ajak to her home when she died. When they ask reason from Akaris he says my life is given by Arisham. I will end you if I will have to. Saying this, Akaris leaves and Sprite was also with him. Kingo was also leaving and said we can't do anything without Akaris's help. Kingo also leaves as well. They left and the other Eternals' powers weren't enough to stop the emergence. Fastos says to Sarsi your powers can join Arisham with you. He says we can make a uni band due to it, the e-emergence will stop. He makes a band with Sarsi's stone and they reach the place with their spaceship. The place where emergence will start. Akaris and Sprite were seeing emergence to happen. The other Eternals arrived to stop the emergence. A huge celestial was about to appear from the emergence that will be harmful to the world. They connect their band to stop the emergence with their powers. Akaris throws Druig far. Makari screens seeing this. She beats Akaris that he wasn't beaten in the past 7,000 years. Circe says to Fastos I will try to stop this emergence alone. Fastos says okay you try to stop this and we try to stop Akaris. The other Eternals fight with Akaris. The leader of the creatures arrives there and Makari mails a huge circle around it. It holds Makari and tries to take her powers. Meanwhile, Fastos attacks the creature and it throws Makari far. It falls inside a cave of a mountain. Fastos ties Akaris with Tis technology. Circe was stopping the emergence but Sprite stabs her with a knife. She says I don't to save humans. I am here on the earth for a 7,000 years and I never know what is love. What is a family? Meanwhile, Druid comes attacks Sprite's head. Thena is shown on the other side and the past was irritating her. The deviant creature was trying to gain her powers is Gilgamesh. Thena awakes and she produces a dangerous weapon with her powers. She divides the creature into pieces the emergence was started and the hands of Celestial were appearing gradually. Circe was trying to stop the Celestial with her powers Acarus was released and moves to end Circe. Then he remembers the moments spent with Circe. Acarus also tries to stop the emergence with them. The emergence stops and the Celestial dies before being born. Acarus sees Circe for the last time and disappears while moving towards the sun on the other side. Macari was happy to see Druig and hugs him. Circe I still have the Celestial powers. I can make you find if you want. Then you will become a human and will die one day. Sprite says yes, I am ready and they go to dinner at Fastos home. Sprite took admission to the school. Circe meets her friend and he says I wanted to tell you that I am not from this earth. A portal opens in the sky and Arisham calls the Eternals including Circe to him. He says you have murdered a celestial to save humans. For now I am forgiving you and leaving I will tell you my decision when I will return. 
That what should I have to do with you? Thanks.